in 2005, it was the year of the gun, as they were calling it in Toronto. Gang violence was, was prevalent in the media, and I felt that there was a real negative attitude towards African Canadian men, uh, young men in particular, and I really wanted to, to discover um, what my history was, uh, rather than it being framed in the way that the media had framed it. I think learning about my history has really empowered me to say, no, that's not the story. The real story is that there have been a number of successful black graduates that graduate today and every year and graduated as far back as, as 1860 and probably prior to that. One example is Leonard Braithwaite, who was actually the first uh, African Canadian to hold provincial office. He, he was an, a member of provincial parliament and he graduated um, from U of T. He actually graduated top of his class, but the reality is when he graduated, he couldn't find a job uh, because nobody hired a black lawyer in Ontario in spite of the fact that he was uh, at the top of his class. Eventually, he became the first black MPP and uh, he actually through a private member's bill, led the way to the end of segregation in Ontario schools. 